So Kellen and now sticks his hand out, little handball over the top to tip it. 55, runs into 45 and puts it straight through the middle. That is a great kick. He's recovered from his concussion. Beautiful goal. John, a really good lesson there for Tom McDonald. If you're going to leave your man and go to the contest, you've got to impact it. Have a look at McDonald here. He attacks Callanan, doesn't get there, doesn't stop the hand pass coming over the top, and his man kicks the goal. And there's no chain from behind, even no other Melbourne defender was close enough to lead their direct opponent to come up to put that next piece of pressure on tip of it. It was the Jones turnover at centre forward. He needed to get on his boot and get it deep inside. Down the one, two. Frawley oh. worked it out, but Petrenko smothered it and is going to punish him. Petrenko to the open goal and puts it through. And it's just those little skill errors that are killing Melbourne. For me, it's, it's a combination. It's decision making as well as execution because it should have been a hand pass. Yeah. I mean, this is a little hand pass over the top and he's gone for a finesse kick. The kick. You, you risk the time that it's falling between the hands of the boot for something to happen, and that's Petrenko closing in to get that little smother in. And didn't he do it well? Jacobs sees Tippett, waits, 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 and then goes short again and just the 15 to Callanan. He's going to go back to half forward flank for Melbourne on that occasion as it plays on. On the left boot, long kick, and look at this, John Conkle just let it go. Callanan's left foot kick was a beauty, Cheers. and he kicks his second. Well, it's too easy for Callanan to get around, but it's Jones on the half forward line, gets a handball receive, steps back into traffic on his right, instead of going on his left and getting it to a dangerous spot for Melbourne. Tumbles a kick inside 450, turnover, ends up down the forward line for the Adelaide Crows. See what worries me here, John. There are a couple of Adelaide players shepherding it through, but no one there from Melbourne, Melbourne. remotely close to touching. So Adelaide, we made the point that uh, their form in Melbourne has been ordinary, to say the least. Well, they are really getting it out of their system here as Riley goes in and kicks a massive goal. And they are running all over the top of Melbourne now. This is going to be a massacre. We saw, John, when the D's came out for the second half, they got in a tight huddle again, almost pre-game style. And they obviously would have had a, a chat about what they wanted to achieve in this second half. In the space of a minute, they've conceded two goals, and all of a sudden you look at the body language, the heads are down, the shoulders are slumped. So I'll kick the bail out to our tour, which is James Sell, but Donovan's got four blokes against him. And here's Tippett, marked played it, on. played on, straight away, onto the left. He's done it on the right, and he can do it on the left as well. That's his third. Got all these faculties about him today. Well, I'm not. I would dispute that. So he runs into traffic, has to step onto the left, snap over a smothering Easy. arm, simple. And still three. Sylvia was there. Watch out! Danger! 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 That's his second. Well, you just start wondering what the end is going to be for Melbourne today, what they're going to take away from this. It's going to be a very forgettable day for Brad Green, playing his final match for the club, but it is Adelaide just starting to show that they are a serious force, not because they're having a big win, but because they're just getting stronger as the day goes on. They're only just warming up, and they've got so much run in the legs, so much strength in the bodies. It's a powerful performance from them.